thinking clearly through because like thinking things maybe what if we have a test compared a bicycle to a car why don't we have a bicycle that moves from point a to b you don't need to have a, a super speed car to go mm -hmm. from a to b so they were not making sort of um thinking outside the box so to me those conversations were uh, kind of like surrounded with nervousness and and a lot of sort of time pressure to respond so it, it wasn't the best environment i think hopefully with yeah, Professor Bush, Other, yeah. though, I mean, first of all, uh, I just I, I want to underscore that I, I completely see how having your rapid test out there in 2020 would have been a game changer. And at the same time, I mean, we were in the throes of a once in a century global pandemic that really no yes. no extant institution had had firsthand experience with right now. Right. right. And so is it reasonable to have expected FDA to because these institutions like FDA, um, they're not built to react fast. So it's what we call the top to bottom approach. That's why we need the public, we need the Chelsea's, we need everybody of us to show from bottom to up that there are other ways to do public health in which we participate, we have generated data, data and then the FDA will react. So it is true that um, big institutions like that do not have the fastest way to react. They're not built that way. Maybe if we had a different administration, you know, maybe if we had a different kind of, you know, government opinions, that would have moved the needle, I think, because at that time it was also very hard to have the administration say, oh, we don't even have a, a pandemic and things like that mm -hmm. for a while. Well, so, it, 